Could Cody Bellinger be the next New York Yankee? And are the Cubs really in on Alex Bregman? I thought they had a third baseman. We're going to talk about that right here on the Cubs Baseball Channel. Like and subscribe. Thanks for being here, guys. Hot stove season is underway, and we're here to tell you all about it. Let's get this show started. Welcome to the Wrigley South Studios, right? Hey, might as well be. Great to have you guys on the Cubs Baseball Channel. Mick Gillespie here at Broadcaster Mick on the socials. And I know that a lot of you guys are going, what about Twitter? What about Instagram? What about TikTok? Or we're there as well, Cubs Baseball Channel. A lot of stuff going on that I wanted to talk about. Some of you guys have even slid into my DMs, emailed me. You've asked me questions, what I think about certain things. I'm going to get to one of those. Later on in the show, I want to talk about Mike Tockman uh, and his farewell with the Cubs. But let's start right here. Cody Bellinger to the Yankees. Some of the national media are saying now that if Juan Soto, who could easily end up with the Mets, ends up going to the Mets, that the Yankees are looking at Cody Bellinger as a backup plan. Now, this is interesting because when he opted back into his Cubs deal, Kind of surprised a lot of us, but I guess at the end of the day, it was that the market wasn't there for a better deal. Now, he was one of the best Cubs last year, dealt with some injuries, including uh, running into the uh, Bricks and Ivy and having those cracked ribs. I think that slowed him down a little bit, but with all, all said and done, I think he still was uh, the best or one of the best Cubs players. He's still a young guy in his you know early 30s. This guy can be a difference maker, left-handed bat. Now, the problem that the Cubs have is first off that they gave Ian Happ a no trade clause. So you can't you can't move him. And then you gave say a Suzuki a no trade clause. So you can't move him. So now what are you going to do? Well you got Pete Crow Armstrong who's the best defensive outfielder in baseball in my opinion. You got uh you got three other guys in the minor leagues that are right there waiting for their opportunity to get to the show. And you got to have a spot for the Owen Casey's and the Alexander Canarios and Kevin Alcantara, probably the third of those of the guys in that group. But and then you're still looking for spots to play guys. You can play them at first base. We talked about this before. Michael Bush is the first baseman. And I'm going to get into Mike Tockman later on in the show. Uh, but so Cody Bellinger to the Yankees, and you keep hearing rumors that the Cubs are serious about trading him. So he opted back in, and now it's like, hey, you know what? We'll see what we can get for him. What value, though, is Cody Bellinger? I mean, are you getting prospects back, or are you just getting him off the books so that you can have money to spend? And a lot of people are saying that the Cubs are not going out there and spending, and it makes sense to me. you got a front office on a one-year deal. This was an extension of the Theo Epstein regime i mean you know jed hoyer was his right hand man and this has been going on for a while the success peaked at 2016 it's gone down really down cubs haven't won a playoff game in a while they haven't even been to the playoffs in a while now and maybe the ownership's gone look we're, we're sticking right here on this budget you guys make it work you know you went out and made these trades you you told us that when we got rid of the you know the the star players like Chris Bryant, Javi Baez, and Anthony Rizzo. We got these guys. It was going to be a wave of players coming in. We were going to try to contend while we were getting there. Now they're there, and we, we didn't even have a spot for some of these guys. So it makes sense that Cody Bellinger could go to the Yankees, and then he would be a great Yankee. I mean, uh, they are built to win and to try to win a World Series. They got there last year. They didn't win. They feel like they're really close. And if they don't get Juan Soto, Cody Bellinger would certainly be a, a, a great backup piece for them and maybe in some ways even better, you know, cause he's a, he's a good player. Now this one surprised me, Alex Bregman to the Cubs, the Cubs have, uh, I sock Paredes who they traded to get at the deadline, which was kind of one of those deals where the Cubs are making trades to get players and not prospects, they get an all-star third baseman, but he didn't play like an all-star third baseman. Now he was a guy that came, you know, came up a little bit with the Cubs before he was traded to the Tigers. 
and then you know went on to have a a, a good big league career. He's still young, but it, but if you go out and you get Alex Bregman, then obviously you're going to have to move Paredes out. Now, what would Alex Bregman mean to the Cubs? He's been with the Astros. He may be the heart and soul of the Houston Astros team, and they're trying to sign him. So it's going to cost some big money. I mean, I'm sure that if anybody, if you're going to be in the neighborhood, he's just going to stay there. But if the Cubs did get him, if they're serious about getting Alex Bregman, are they making moves to try to have the money to do it? What does he bring? I'll tell you, it's right here. It's leadership and influence in the clubhouse. And that is something that the Cubs desperately need. I think that they would love to have Alex Bregman. And they need leadership. They need influence. They need guys that are going to come in and, and, and push this team to win. You know, not just players that are telling the Cubs who to sign. You know, if it's Dansby Swanson is your, your clubhouse leader, but he's the eighth batter and he's not delivering, then he's not going to have the voice that someone like Alex Bregman who has delivered, has gotten his team to multiple World Series, has won multiple World Series, you know, has ha, has been part of this run that the Astros have had and is a big influence guy. Having him um, in the clubhouse could be a really big thing for the Cubs, and then I guess you would trade Paredes, and I wonder what the Cubs at this point would get back for him. They gave up some pretty good players to get him, uh, but you know what? Maybe they get something better or something similar in return, or maybe they get some bullpen pitching, you know, who knows, but you, you, you saw the, the Royals and the Reds made a deal where they, the, 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 the Reds got singer, a pitcher, a starting pitcher. And, um, the, the Royals got, a, a you know, former rookie of the year infielder, you know, big league trades do happen. It doesn't, it's not always for, uh, minor leaguers. And, um, you know, that could be what's going on here. So we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. But, uh, you know, if, if they did bring in Bregman, obviously they'd just trade Paredes and somebody out there would want him. Now, uh, Cubs signed Phil Bickford to a minor league deal, still working on trying to add guys to the bullpen. You know, that that's something that'll happen a lot there. Um, and then this right here. And I, I got a lot of you guys asking me what I thought about Mike Talkman. This is what stinks about when you go and you you sign players to these no trade clauses is that you 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 don't have a lot of movement there. Now Talkman was valued at what 2.9 million dollars. That's not a huge contract. And a lot of you guys really like Talkman. You like the way he played, you like the fact that he got on base. Uh is he a star player? No, but he's a really good role player. He he was uh you know someone that made the team better. And if you were on a really good team, a guy like Mike Tockman would be super valuable. Now, the problem is that the Cubs haven't been a very good team. And then they have this backload of outfielders. And then, you know, you it would have been such a much better value. And this isn't a, a shot at Ian Happ, but if he didn't have a no trade clause uh, or maybe you didn't sign him to that deal, you, you, you could get similar production, maybe not quite as much power. But you, the on base percentage and the, you know, and the 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 defense. Even though you're talking about a two time Gold Glover, I don't think that that Tockman is that much worse uh, than Ian Happ. But you're not moving Happ out because he's got two more years on a contract with a no trade clause. So uh, unless he waived that, and I don't see that happening. So Tockman had to go. The numbers didn't work out for him. But he was a really, really fun Cub. He just reminded me of those, those working man Cubs that you look back and you're like, man, I don't know why I really like this guy so much, but I like him because he just shows up every day and gives you 100%. And, and, and you look back and you're like, you know, what, what is it about this guy? Well, it's that he plays hard, that he gets his uniform dirty, that he makes a, he, he makes the diving plays, you know, he's – he he always seems to be the guy with the filthy uniform that's out there, uh, you know, doing whatever it takes to try to win. So we wish him best. He'll end up getting a job. He'll be on a good team, hopefully. He he could go one of two ways. Maybe he signs with a team that's not that good, where he plays every day. I think he'll get exposed if he's like a starter. But I think if you get put him on a good team 
And he's one of those guys that you just can throw into spots to fill in that, um, you know, honestly, I think he could he could help a team win a World Series. So I hate to see him go. But the roster's flipping. They should have done some of this stuff at the end of last year instead of trying to chase, you know, when they're, they're, we would show up on the show every day and it'd be like, hey, Cubs have a 7% chance to make the playoffs. And we're not doing anything but playing the same players, you know, like, well, why wouldn't we want to see what Owen Casey can do? You know, we got Evan Kevin Alcantara at the end of the year for a few at-bats, but the Cubs could have used that to build towards this year, and these guys would have went. Um, but you know what? Well, maybe there's a plan out there that that I'm not seeing because 83 and 79 to me could be, you know, 79 and 83. It could be, you know, 70 wins it could be you know what if you don't make the playoffs to me it doesn't matter you know you're the first you're the first team out you might as well be the last team out um so cubs have a chance though to uh to do some things with this roster and it's going to be interesting i i don't think they'll get bregman you know i saw the list of teams that he might go to i think the astros are going to figure out a way to sign this guy i i just don't think they're going to let their you know their their star player their their identity guy leave but you know what? He's going to make two hundred plus million dollars, and if if you know if you're the Cubs, uh, this may be an area where you really want to uh, take a risk, just because it's not just that Bregman is good; it's that you need somebody that to to have that that leadership that he brings to the table. Maybe you can capture some of that. He's a really good player. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with us on the Cubs baseball channel. Love hearing from you, uh, whether it's Twitter, whether it's email, whether it's the comments here on the channel. We're doing really well. We're going to be here with you throughout the offseason, and we're going to keep talking about hot stove baseball. I'm I'm waiting on some. I think, I think the Cubs could do something trade-wise, and if you move Bellinger, then who knows? You know, maybe that's a, another area where – you know, it opens up some things for the Cubs to make some moves. But uh, thanks for hanging out. Like, subscribe, thumbs up, go Cubs. Share with your Cubs friends, and we'll talk to you tomorrow.